these games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the back, the Bowling Green Falcons. Taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Nittany Lions offense takes the field. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. And the Nittany Lions moved the change with some signature hard-nosed running. Some Big Ten physicality, some Big Ten running the football. Got to have it. Got to start with that when you're in the Big Ten and when you're at Penn State. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. Let's see how successful they'll be on first and ten. They'll try the run. Dances away from one. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. No, we got loose. They finally make the stop at the big line. He's plenty to move those sticks for the first down. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space, it's Carpenter. Pulled down after a pickup of three balls at the 13. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Dropping back, it's Aller. They're trying to get to it. And the rush will get to him at the 25. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Unleashes one deep. Oh, right through his hand. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. So Bowling Green's offense will have its first possession of the game. One matchup to watch in this one is how well do the backers tackle in space, David. Yeah, and you've got to have great linebackers to get this guy on the ground. And they've got it. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. A lot of head-to-head -head battles, linebacker versus running back. Yeah, tackling them in space, but also covering them out of the backfield. These two dudes are going to be shadowing each other all game long. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. They believe they can run right here. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out quickly. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver run the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. They'll keep it on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Quick 
Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. A huge pickup on the play before he goes out of bounds, but you know, the know, question is, know, will it stand? Know. There is a penalty marker on the field. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. To throw, it's Basilak. And they got him for the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back. And he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Hauls it in, looking for space. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Hey, and I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football. Put a nice drive together and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now for this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. They're going to run it. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Now the play fake. Finds the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And the Nittany Lions are threatening in the red zone. Give to the running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! They'll try to add another to their lead. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it. He's down in the red zone. This quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Bowling Green has it back to Falcon up. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They'll keep it on the ground. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw. It's Basilak. Feelings. And the ball! comes out what a disastrous play oh the fumble and the defense got it touchdown penn state not content to get the fumble they scored with the fumble great heads up play by the defender there he saw the ball on the ground didn't just jump on it was able to scoop it on the convoy running for a touchdown and for a quick update let's go to kevin connor's in the studio guys let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today Clemson is down right now, but I'm not convinced this team doesn't have a C.J. Spiller-like big play in them. Any change in momentum, and this is a brand new game. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Appalachian State. Any big developments in this one, we've got you... with the run. 
Maybe picked up a couple as he gets it to the 14. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. He makes the connection, and he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Falcons will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. That's caught. It's Wallace. They'll get him stopped at the 45, but it's a big 15-yard pickup and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. Here comes the option. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. Man, this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 oh, a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half, and this unit looks dialed in. Only green. Zero. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing at all cylinders right out of the gate. And offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Looking to throw, it's Bazelak. It's complete on the right side. At the 40, there he goes. The expressway is wide open. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Bowling Green. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. 24, Bowling Green, 7. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. One final play before the end of the quarter. He wants to throw. Floating away. He'll let it go down the right side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Penn State on top. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They'll try the left side. They get him stopped at the 26, but boy, that was an attitude run. A pickup of six. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield. It's Singleton. Head into the end zone. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business for the first and goal. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Trying to pound it in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State! For 
precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. And he's going to bring this one out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point in the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way so fast and throw the football. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And the Falcons decide to punt it away. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. To the air on first down. Here he goes breaking the pocket. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Fires to the big fella. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. They'll run this play from the pistol. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. The Nittany Lions are moving quickly down the field. Makes one man miss. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the run, it's Carpenter. They make the stop, and he got work done on the ground, picking up six to the 23. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Off play action. Fires to the right. He's got it. Well, the field goal kicker can step away from the net and go sit down, grab some water. They're not, not going to need him just quite yet. That was a great play call. Throwing the ball on third and short in field goal range. They get the completion, now setting up for... Cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they finished it off with the score from the four. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the field. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Back to pass. It's Bazelak. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. The Falcons line up to punt it away. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. He'll pull it on the read. 
and maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Let's see what they've got on second down. It doesn't matter what run play you have called if you're running it inside or outside. If the defense gets penetration, everything is done. And you saw it on that play right there. Great job by the defense. And he's lucky to get that one back. This junior quarterback knows better than to try that too often. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Pressure coming. Blasted as he lets it go. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it then. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Snags it on the right. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Exploded for a huge chunk of yards on that last one. They'll try to do it again here. First and ten from the 33. Throws to the wideout. Holds it in. He's run out of bounds after the big gain, and they are in business. First and goal. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. They are really clicking along. First and goal on just the fourth play of the drive. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Second and goal for this offense. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Here comes the field goal unit as he'll try to take the three. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right half. Right down the boulevard. It's good. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the offense on first down. He's looking to throw it. Grab behind the line, it's Singleton. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. So they'll try to make up some of that ground on second down from the 16. Throwing right. He's got it. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Trying to find his man on first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Penn State. Reeled it in and just made the house climb. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. And the returner will be brought down. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. 
The quick out. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And the Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Fires to the tight end. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Looking to throw. It's Basilak. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And yeah, nice play by the defense. Third and short. They can run most of the time, but a really nice job playing tight on the wide receivers, playing the pass and giving no space. Fires toward the end zone. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, one of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Happy Valley. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Beaver Stadium. possession try to put a scoring drive again the only thing you can do at this point offensively is just make sure your best players are touching the football as often as possible you recruited these guys you got guys out of the portal you put your faith in them to make plays this is a time to go out and do it on the move it's Basilak on target over the middle and he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47 yard line this offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Looking for room. It's Patterson. We've seen a ton of this tonight. They just keep giving him the ball, and he keeps running into brick walls. Not much running room again. Wants to throw on second down. Finds his big tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. The Falcons have their offense in high gear. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out fast. Got enough space. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, BG. How about the renaissance of the tight ends? In line, flexed out, split out. They can do a little bit of everything. They really can, and they're asked to block a lot of the times, too. But I'll tell you what, all the wide receivers out wide, the fancy toys, the fancy spread. Don't forget about that tight end. He does a little bit of everything. And then you reward the big fella throwing the ball. Any catches, so he really can't do a little bit of everything. Oh, what vision! There he goes. Open it up. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Nittany Lions! Boy, nothing electrifies a stadium quite like a return for a touchdown. It's always so exciting because you don't see him very often. That goes so many yards, 80, 90 yards at a time. What a great job by the returner showing the speed. Providing the electricity. There's a reason they're all jacked up. It's because of that awesome kickoff return. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Nebraska is ahead early in Lincoln, but that's not exactly Mike Rozier out there running the ball. This game is a long way from over. They're up by just one over Colorado. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Catch in the middle, it's Garcia. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. They go to the ground. This has been happening all night. They stubbornly keep giving him the ball, and the defense is all over him. Man down on the play is the official. Let him be checked out. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Using the quick game. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Well, they keep it on the ground. Back to throw. It's Bazelak. Got his man downfield. What a nice connection. Knocked down immediately, and they've got it at the 25. First and 10 for the offense. He's going to pass. Finds his tight end. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid count. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could... And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons! He'll try to tack on one more. Love the play design on offense, because you get your playmaker, the guy you want with the ball in his hands. You get him open, easy throw for the quarterback, receiver does the rest, put six up on the board. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. The lone back's got it. Nifty run there. Pick up a six out of the 25. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Getting some heat. Now he's going to break the pocket. He's got an open man. And he's brought down after a nice game. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard. And he's now over 300 yards on the day. So, been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. Guess what? This game is far from over. This offense has a second down play. Dropping back, it's Aller. Escapes the pressure going right. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. The offensive line's got to get it together, giving up a sack on the last play, and now it's third down. Skips away from pressure. 
And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. The Nittany Lions will try to pin them back with the punt. These receivers on these scramble drills are going to have to play with a little bit more urgency because this pass rush is getting after the QB. He was flushed out to the left and wasn't able to complete that throw because of the idiot. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility. And he's running in the open. He'll work his way down to the 28. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. To the air, it's Bazelak. Makes his connection. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. They run into a bit of trouble here. Third and long from the 25. And the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Unloads to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. The Falcons have it with a first and ten. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out. Make it That's the music. Oh, yeah. Wait, yo, can you hear me, bro? Because Alex was saying the mic wasn't working. So if you can hear me, say you can hear me. I don't know if he got it fixed or not. Maybe he just had it off. All right, all right, cool. This game will be over soon, bro.
Aaron drowns out the game sound. Oh yeah. I mean that's how it really is though. Nice job. Again, in for a whole week in September. Hey, nice, bro. doesn't bother you, you gotta be cool yeah bro like it, I don't know it's bothers some people but I don't understand how I don't understand how it bothers like other people for me if I hear a fan it's kind of relaxing I mean it's starting to get like cooler it's still hot here during the day but the nighttime in the morning is like it's so cool now it's August August 1st I mean, it just turned August first, like two hours ago, but just started buying things. I was looking at the Appalachian Mountains. I just don't know how I'd get there without going through the highway. Like, I would so do, I would so do that, bro. Go on a walk like you are. So I probably wouldn't see many people through those mountains. Fucking would love to do that, but. A sweet autumn, hell yeah. I just I like autumn, it's nice, but I hate when it gets like super like in autumn, it gets like super fucking windy. And like, not always, but when it's windy in the autumn, bro, it's bad. Like, the wind's horrible. Yeah, I just don't understand. I, like, I don't, I don't understand like how I'm gonna get there though. Without taking a highway and like can't really walk on a highway. Yo. What else? Yeah. I think it's bad around town seeing people. Fuck that.
I don't know if you're allowed to walk on highways, but fuck you. I don't think you're technically allowed to. But I've done it before, but only because I had to. Had a cop, like, take me off the highway, though. He told me I had to get off the highway. August 1st of next year, like, shit's a little different, cause, if not, fuck it, man.
was just in a battle. This game is about to end. Three seconds. Let's get on that Fortnite. Shit. Maybe next season I'll like it. Because, like, I liked Reload when it first came out, but then uh, yeah, I started getting sick of it.